Sonic Boom becomes Sonic Thumb. America's top scientists are working on a plane that can fly from LA to the Big Apple in just a few hours. Lockheed Martin and NASA have partnered up to develop a quiet supersonic plane named the X-59. The proposed single pilot craft has a wingspan of 29.5 feet, is 94 feet long, and weighs 32,300 pounds at total fuel capacity. NASA says the X-59 will be powered by a General Electric F-414 engine. This is the same engine used by the F-A-18 EF fighter jets. The craft's hull is designed to abate the noise from shockwaves traditionally associated with Mach speed travel. During that, shockwaves come together and create loud sonic booms. The space agency says the X-59 is designed to separate these shockwaves, resulting in much less noise reaching the ground. The aircraft's first flight test is scheduled for 2021. Buckle up! Canadian engineer designs Mach 24 aircraft antipode. Charles Bombardier has done it again. The engineer just released concept designs for yet another supersonic aircraft, Antipode. The plane has been conceptualized to carry as many as 10 passengers up to 12,430 miles in under an hour, reaching speeds as high as 16,000 miles per hour. If you can imagine, the world's fastest car clocked in at about 270 miles per hour. At 16,000, or Mach 24, which is a little over 18,000, Antipo is estimated to be capable of traveling from London to New York in just 11 minutes, a flight that currently takes eight hours. Antipo comes on the heels of Bombardier's November 2015 aircraft concept, the Screamer, which promised to travel at Mach 10 speeds, but was rife with design flaws. Following Screamer's announcement, Bombardier was confronted with sonic boom and heating issues that would render the concept non-functional. Antipode is Bombardier's response to Screamer's flaws. But if you're looking to catch a ride anytime soon, don't hold your breath. The aircraft is years away from fruition as most of the technology required to make it functional has yet to be developed. But now that the DeLorean might be back in production, you might not even need a Mach 24 aircraft. Bloodhound set to break land speed record, top 1,000 miles per hour. The current land speed record is held by the Thrust SSC, which broke the sound barrier while traveling at 763 miles per hour in 1997. Now its developers have taken on the challenge to reach 1,000 miles per hour with a new car called the Bloodhound SSC. The 1,000 mile per hour car weighs 7.8 tons and measures 13.4 meters long and is designed to tackle the severe aerodynamic challenges. Its carbon fiber and titanium plated bodywork is built to withstand a tremendous amount of pressure. Two computer winglets at the head of the car will help keep the nose grounded. To achieve its record-breaking speed, the Bloodhound is equipped with a V12 racing engine that powers an EJ200 jet engine and a hybrid rocket engine. The jet engine, typically found in the Eurofighter Jet Typhoon, takes the car to 100 miles per hour in just five seconds. When the car reaches 350 miles per hour at around 15 seconds, the rocket is fired, accelerating the car to 1,050 miles per hour in another 25 seconds. At its peak speed, the Bloodhound would break the land speed record, covering one mile in just 3.5 seconds. The rocket will then shut off before power brakes and parachutes will be deployed to bring the vehicle to a stop. The Bloodhound's test drive is set to take place in the Haxine Pan Desert in South Africa in 2016. Japanese Space Agency tests supersonic plane with less sonic boom. Japan's Space Agency, JAXA, in cooperation with Sweden's SRAN Space Center, has successfully tested an experimental supersonic aircraft that emits a quieter sonic boom. The plane's design reduces shock waves typically created during supersonic flight, resulting in a quieter supersonic boom, according to popular mechanics. The aircraft represents an attempt to rectify some of the issues faced by the world's first supersonic commercial jet, the Concorde, which had its European routes canceled due to noise levels. The plane, flight tested by Japanese space agency JAXA, was reportedly built to specifications conceived by Sweden's s round Space Center. In an experiment, the plane was dropped from a balloon at an altitude of 30 kilometers and reached supersonic speeds during the fall. The sonic boom data was collected via several aerial microphones attached to a blimp. JAXA expects to release detailed data from the experiment in the near future. Sonic boom from fighter jet caused tremors in New Jersey. 
While some panicked residents called 911 after feeling the ground shake earlier today, others took to social media to ask what caused the shaking. On Thursday afternoon, a series of tremors were felt in parts of the Northeast United States, making residents think they were experiencing multiple earthquakes. The real culprit was a supersonic flight test conducted on two fighter jets near the Patuxent River Naval Air Base in Maryland, which produced a series of sonic booms. A total of nine sonic booms were reported in 90 minutes, from 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. The U.S. Geological Survey centered the booms over Hamilton, with tremors felt from South New Jersey to Long Island, and the booms were heard as far away as Connecticut. A temperature inversion which puts warm air higher up in the sky may have caused the sonic boom to be felt over such a large area as sound waves travel farther in warm air. A Navy spokesperson said these supersonic flight tests were conducted almost daily in the area, but were rarely felt on land. Supersonic passenger flights will soon be a reality. A new airliner that boasts supersonic speeds is set to revolutionize air travel once it takes flight in 2023. Boom Technologies' planned supersonic aircraft will have a cruise speed of 1,451 miles per hour, 2.6 times faster than any other airliner. While a flight from New York to London would typically take seven hours on a commercial flight, the trip would take a little over three hours on a supersonic airliner. The Mach 2.2 aircraft will have 55 seats, each priced at about $5,000 US for a round-trip ticket. A one-third scale prototype called the XB-1 will begin test flights in 2018 to demonstrate and refine the key technologies required for supersonic travel. Unlike the now-retired Concorde and its notoriously loud sonic boom, the boom aircraft will have turbofans for noise reduction and won't be much louder than a normal plane. The company does have some hurdles to face before their project comes to fruition. Supersonic flights are still banned in the U.S., but with federal laws currently set up for renegotiation, that could soon change.